Okay, so another type of variable that we can use besides a key value pair or a list is a map. Now you may hear a map referred to as a dictionary. It's most commonly referred to as a dictionary in Ansible. It can also be referred to as a hash. Okay, I like to call it a map. I don't know why, it just seems to be stuck in my head as a map. But you may also hear it called a dictionary or a hash. So what I've done here is I've created a variable called our map and I've created two keys under our map and under the goodbye key which is under the our map key I've created three more keys right so I'm going to demonstrate how we can structure data using a map in this way and how we can access the data within that map so if we just go back to a very simple map We've got a top level key and then we've got a sub key and that key has a value. Just in this case, it's the string world. So now if we look at the debugging information along the bottom here, we can see I'm just printing out our map dot hello. Okay, so this is one way in which we can access a key within a map. So dot and then the, and then the next key that we want to access. So our map. We can see that Visual Studio Code has linked them together there. Dot, hello. And it's linking these two together here. Okay. Another way in which we can actually, actually access the hello keyword is to use square braces and single quotes. That achieves the exact same result as we'll demonstrate here. So if we just have a quick look at our playbook. We'll see we get hello world. Okay, and that was indeed the value. And of course, if we then change that to the dot notation that we saw earlier, where we do dot hello, we'll get exactly the same result. Hello world. Okay, but what happens if you want to nest? You want to go a bit deeper, right? So we're going to say goodbye, and we're going to have a person key, and that's going to be me. And we're going to have a cat called Joe as well. Why not? So how do we access the goodbye key? Exactly the same way that we accessed the hello key right there, okay? So if we now run this, will we get a string? No, we'll actually get another map, right? Because our goodbye key contains, its value is another map with two keys, person and cat, Mike and Joe. They're the values, Mike and Joe. So how do we access the goodbye information for our cat? Well, we just keep using the dot notation until we drill down into the actual key that we want. So in this case, it's cat. So now we get Joe. Because of course, Joe is the value of the key cat. And that is how you build a very, very simple map. You will come across maps a lot in the wild. They are very powerful and they used very, very heavily.